What is going on guys, Bisectatron here, bringing you guys today's video. This is talking about whether to use regular dragons or electro dragons, because right now both are very strong, very popular attacks, and you might think they'd be very similar, but there's certain signs you wanna look for in a base that indicate whether you should go with regular dragons or e-dragons. So that's what we're focusing on today's video at Town Hall 11 and Town Hall 12, where you have that option of bringing either one. Um, there's a few tips I wanna just get said right at the beginning, and you can kinda see how they apply to these replays we're taking a look at today. The first one is, and I think this is relatively intuitive, you look at a base, if it's compact, if a lot of buildings are touching or within one tile of each other, that's a sign that e-dragons are gonna be a good thing to use. Um, on the flip side, if the base is more spread out, there's dead space, that should tell you dragons are going to be a better choice. And that's uh, because the electro dragons have the chain damage. They get the electricity bounces, um, so they get much more value when the buildings are close together, almost like a Valkyrie um, when buildings are touching. It's very similar in that, uh, in that sense. The other thing you want to look at is air defenses. If you can easily take out air defenses with heroes, the Stone Slammer, or the Battle Blimp, perhaps, or the Bat Spell, or even some Hasted Balloons, if they can easily be taken out, Dragons are going to be a safer option. They're more reliable, and when the air defense is down, Dragons tend to be able to overwhelm a base. Um, if the air defenses are harder to reach, E-Dragons are better, because they can target an air defense from four or five buildings away with that chain damage. They don't have to be right on top of the air defenses uh, which is something that the, uh, the dragons do. They have to get right up and target the air defense directly. Um, and finally, air sweepers. That's the same principle. E-dragons can target them from a ways away with that chain damage, uh, but the dragons have to get right up to the air sweeper, which means if you're going into an air sweeper, it's going to be a lot more of an issue for the regular dragons. So that was a Town Hall 12 replay. Um, and I th think you guys may have noticed it was dragons uh, because those air defenses were taken out pretty easily and just went into that single with the stone slammer, the single inferno that is, and got it taken out pretty easily. So a straightforward attack there. Um, moving on to this next one, Town Hall 11 attack. And by the way, these are coming from the C uh, CL League War Week 1 against Grumpy Old Men. Tough war for us. We just weren't quite prepared. It's a no-dip league we're doing kind of in the off-season of CWL, and um, we're looking at the attacks by Grumpy Old Men, partly because they had more three-stars at the top level, but also because I already showed a lot of our attacks in the uh, the last video on the new championship coming to Clash of Clans. So anyway, focusing on some of their nice attacks in this video, and looking at this one, okay, we're using Electro Dragons. We will notice that there are a few of these air defenses, especially like that one kind of in the middle there that I'm uh, selecting right now. A little trickier to get taken out with, you know, Bat Spells, uh, Heroes. So the E-Dragons were a better choice. The base is also relatively compact, um, which means that there's some pretty good value. Unfortunately, that one skeleton, uh, the Air Skelly, drags the E-Dragons all the way to the bottom of the base by the Queen, so it's going to be a little bit harder to finish off the base because of that. Very unfortunate how that worked out. Um, but the Stone Slammer got great value. Um, part of the reason this the uh, Electro Dragons were good for this base is you may have noticed right at the entry, um, you can even rewind the video when it, all these buildings were still up, but at the entry there's all these storages at the bottom right of the base. There's even some uh, Teslas. And if it's regular Dragons, they have to get through the storages before they can start actually doing damage to defenses. The E-Dragons get the bounces off the storages onto the weaker defenses behind them. It's almost like a bowler bounce. If you're targeting a, targeting a storage, um, whatever is behind the storage is gonna be less in hit points, typically, um, and that's gonna mean that the defenses will go down before the dragons or the bowlers even have to move and retarget. So that's, um, that's why the E-Dragons got great value initially, um, especially with the uh, t Town Hall 11, Town Hall 12, the eagle lighting up as soon as you drop most of your troops, um, the dragons would have to take a bunch of damage before they even got into the base, whereas the e-dragons are dealing damage right away. Um, so in this case, you'll notice that e-drags were a good choice because the base was kind of compact and there was a lot of value to be gotten um, from that. All right, moving on, some more attacks here, Town Hall 11. Um, 
And these are Town Hall 11, Town Hall 12, I often say this in my videos, are very, very similar. Um, it's mainly just higher level. The Town Hall does present a, a different dynamic at Town Hall 12, but really a lot of the other principles are the same. Um, here we're looking at a dragon attack, and we almost always see the bat spell with dragons. The reason for that, as I kind of hinted at earlier, is that dragons are good once the air defenses are down. They're not good against air defenses, so bat spells are often paired with them because they can directly target air defenses and or, you know, an inferno tower and get that taken out, which will allow the dragons to take out the rest of the base. However, this one is a little bit of an anomaly because there are no bat spells, but the dragons are still used. Reason being, the queen is able to take out a bunch of air defenses on her walk. So she's kind of taking the place of the bat spell here. And I love pairing in like a four healer queen walk with either E drags, that was like the last attack, or with regular dragons to help kind of complement the, the main push. So the king's used on the other side to funnel, the queen's used on uh, the bottom to get an actual queen walk done. And you'll notice she's going to be able to step up and take out two more air defenses. And the dragons are going to kind of close in right at the same time. But she's there anyway to help kind of finish off the air defenses and defenses in this area. And you'll notice that there's that one air defense over at 3 o'clock here that doesn't go down to anything. And I think this kind of highlights the problem with dragons. If you can't get these air defenses dealt with easily, um, they can be a huge problem. Because you'll see here, it's still going to triple, it's still going to be a 3 star. But towards the end, this air defense just does some serious work on all of these balloons and dragons in the area. So you got to be careful, um, and that's why I've been saying in this video that if, um, if you can't deal with the air defenses with means other than the dragons, be it a queen, uh, stone slammer, bat spell, the e-dragons are better because they don't have to get right up to the air defense. There's a few situations where they can take out air defenses before the air defenses can even target them because of that chain damage they do. So keep that in mind. Don't have any air defenses unaccounted for if you're using dragons, um, unless you're just going to overwhelm one that's in the middle of the base, or if you're going to use the stone slammer on it. You can kind of, you know, sideways around it sometimes, but for the most part, you've got to be really careful with the air defenses and dragons. All right, back to E dragons for this base. Um, I think, you know, you take one look at it, you'll see why it's a good choice. Look how compact it is. Um, air defenses are also not really that easy to take out. Uh, they're, they're set back behind the wall so the queen can't reach them. Not really easy pathing for a stone slammer. Um, so you'll see that, uh, especially those first two air defenses, they can go down really quickly with all these uh, bounces. Regular dragons would take much longer to get through that. Um, and then I like what is done for the back end. Not necessarily... Um, needed because I think the E dragons will get the bounces eventually on those air defenses. But using the battle blimp, something we don't see as much anymore, um, to insert balloons directly where we want them. I think this is underused. Also, a few bat spells doesn't mean you can't use bat spells just because uh, you're using E drags. That was a nice little compliment there with all the wizard towers down. Um, there's nothing that can take out these bats, they'll finish off the base. So, pretty much overwhelmed it. There's a freeze spell. Um, there was a lot of different things that could have worked on this base. So keep that in mind. But the main thing is, if you notice how compact it is, that screams E-Dragons. So be sure to uh, to identify that and use E-Dragons accordingly if a base is that compacted. All right, let's move on to the next one. And um, something to kind of also keep in mind here in terms of stats, which are not talked about enough, I feel like, in Clash of Clans for these attack strategies and stuff. Um, for roughly the same uh, level E dragons versus dragons, Town Hall 11, Town Hall 12, they do about the same amount of damage. Um, e dragons have a little more hit points. So if you think about troop space, 30 versus 20, that's one and a half times more troop space to bring the electro dragon. If it's only targeting one building at a time, you're not getting nearly as much value as you would for bringing. Uh, the equivalent amount of dragons in terms of troop space. So that kind of shows you have to actually be getting some value from those chain uh, damage electricity bounces in order to make it worthwhile to bring E-Dragons. Because dragons are more reliable, they're not going to, uh, I mean, they're going to target one building at a time, it's very predictable. 
Um, and if you can deal with a base that way, sometimes that's the better option. But for a compacted base, E-Dragons uh, are able to kind of overpower that uh, the extra storages that would otherwise hold up regular dragons. Okay, so this one, nice use of the bat spell, takes out the multi-inferno there, and two air defenses, I believe. I'm not sure if this other air defense goes down. It's very low right there. Yeah, there, it finally goes down. Um, Stone Slammer on the other side, taking out these other air defenses. So as I said, guys, this is a perfect example, kind of illustrating my point here. These air defenses were able to be dealt with, um, which is why dragons were a good choice, because it uses the bat spells on the top and the stone slammer on the left side, dealing with all four air defenses. Dragons just have to do their job, which is getting through the rest of the base, that front end, uh, which they're able to do kind of. Uh, that last dragon does go down right there, so we're in a weird situation where there's just balloons and the Grand Warden left up, which is not the best cleanup, I will say. Um, the Grand Warden is almost annoying with how bad he is at cleanup, because he just targets random stuff, it seems like. Um, so we'll have to fast forward times four for sure, because this is kind of a circus to watch here. Uh, but it does work out, and I think dragons were the right choice for this base. So that pretty much sums it up. Hope hopefully I kind of shed some light on some things that you might not have thought about before. Quick recap, though. Um, E-Dragons, good against air defenses, sweepers, stuff that's tucked inside the base that otherwise is pretty tough on dragons. They can overcome that by being able to do that chain damage against compact bases. On the other hand, if you're using dragons, you want to make sure you have a plan to take out all four air defenses, but they're a little more versatile. They can go up against bases that have dead space, that don't have the compact um, chain damage ability that the E-Drags would have. Um, so use dragons against the more spread out bases, but make sure you have a plan for all four air defenses, whether it's using your heroes, the stone slammer, or bat spells. Uh, bat spells can also be paired with e-dragons. It really just depends at looking, looking at the base individually and seeing what works on each component. So there's no perfect formula, but this is a, a good place to start. So hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching. Going to have some Town Hall 10 content coming out from this war as well, hopefully. So stay tuned for that, and I'll see you guys next time. Bisect the Tron out.